Hi, good evening, everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to go ahead and talk about uh, the first topic of Indian economy, which is going to be economic development since independence. This is the bigger topic. Within that, the first topic that I'm going to go ahead and take is called economy at the time of independence. तो हमें ये जानना है कि जब इंडिया को इंडिपेंडेंस मिला उस टाइम पे इंडिया की इकोनॉमी कैसी थी दैट इज द फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू गो अहेड एंड डील विद ठीक है जी अच्छा सो इन दिस टू बिगिन विद व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट इकोनॉमी एट द टाइम ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस वी आर गोइंग टू हैव वेरियस ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ दिस चैप्टर ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी टुडे इंट्रोड्यूस यू व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न क्या क्या हम इस यूनिट में इस ब्लॉक में सीखेंगे हमें पहले ये जानना है तो सबसे पहले वी विल टॉक अबाउट द स्टेट सो लेट मी राइट डाउन द ऑब्जेक्टिव सो वी विल टॉक अबाउट द स्टेट ऑफ इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर एट द टाइम ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस कि इंडिया का जो एग्रीकल्चर था वो कैसा था जब इंडिया को इंडिपेंडेंस मिला ये सबसे पहला हमारा क्वेश्चन है ठीक है जी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन जो दैट वी आर गोइंग टू गो हेड एंड आस्क क्वेश्चन नंबर बी इज व्हाट आर द प्रॉब्लम्स दैट आर फेस्ड बाय इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर अब एक तो हो गया कि इंडिया को जब इंडिपेंडेंस मिला तो एग्रीकल्चर था कैसा उसके बाद अगर मुझे एग्रीकल्चर को इंप्रूव करना है इफ आई हैव टू इंप्रूव एग्रीकल्चर देन व्हाट आर द प्रॉब्लम्स दैट वी फेस सो स्टेट द प्रॉब्लम्स फेस्ड बाय इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर इंडियन ठीक है जी ये सेकंड चीज होगी अब थर्ड अब वी आर नॉट ओनली इंटरेस्टेड इन एग्रीकल्चर इन दिस चैप्टर वी आल्सो वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट वाज द स्टेट ऑफ इंडियन इंडस्ट्री इंडिया की जो इंडस्ट्री थी वो कैसी थी ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस वो भी इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट है सो थर्ड आउटलाइन द स्टेट ऑफ Indian industry at the time of independence. <coughs> Fifth, because we had just got independence, how was our currency? How was our financial sector? हमारी currency कैसे perform करी थी? क्या हम fixed exchange rate पे थे या floating पे थे? उस पे हम बाकी lectures में भी बात करेंगे. But but how was our currency? How was our financial system? we want to go ahead and talk about that also so the fourth one d it is going to be the state of currency and financial system okay then the next thing that we are going to go ahead and discuss in this chapter is the state of infrastructure did we had roads kya roads thi jo village ko uh, city se connect kar rahi thi did we have electricity did we have a good uh, transport system or not so what was the state of infrastructure at the time of independence and lastly i will provide you <clears throat> so last point i will provide you an account of macro aggregates ki how were the macro aggregates performing at the time of independence is this clear 
Okay, <clears throat> so to begin with, today I'm going to go ahead and give you introduction to this topic. Please make these notes along with me. If you make notes with me, by the end of this series, you will have complete note on the first topic that how was India at the time of independence. But with me, for 10 minutes, you have to go ahead and prepare these notes along with me. Is this clear? Okay. So first of all, you have to understand that before British rule, when British rule India mein aaya hi nahi tha, India was an independent economy. Can you understand it? Then we So before British rule, India was an independent economy. Thi. India was on its own. India had, uh, was self reliant before British rule. was self reliant before British rule. Okay? And <clears throat> it had uh, large exports. Bohat zyada saman India se bahar jata tha. It had large exports, right? And whenever it would export something, jabhi bhi wo bahar kuch bhejti thi, it would get stones, precious stones, precious gems, gold in return. Thik hai ji? To, so because it was sell, selling out, apni country se bahar bhejte thi, return mein gold milta tha, it was having a good bank of gold. At the same time, its, its uh, <coughs> imports were minimum. British rule se pehle, India ko bahar se zyada kuch lene ki zarurat nahi parti thi. Right? So, although the economy was largely rural, zyada tar hum agricultural based economy hi thai, still we were self-dependent. Hum apne upar, self-reliant thai. Hum apne upar hi depend karte thai. Thik hai? Kings ka era tha, artists thai, sculptors thai, weavers thai, but sab Everybody was doing their work, but we were self-reliant. So, every region had its own specialization. But we know that British rule is called the drain of wealth. When British rule came, the wealth started to go out. Wealth started going out, right? So, <clears throat> most of the problems which are there even in the present day, the problems even today we are facing, those problems are actually the problems that are British rule. So most of the problems, even today, has its roots in the British era. Unki jo bhi roots hai, unki jo bhi, jo bhi uh, problems hai, jo aaj tak chal rahi hai, wo actually British era ki wajah se hi hai, British period ki wajah se hi hai. So therefore, the aim of this chapter, hum, aad, hum is chapter mein kya karenge? In this chapter, we will try to go ahead and we will review how the economy was at the time of independence. Is this clear? So please write down. Let's write down these points. So please write down. See, Bahane, we will revise these. So before the British rule, India was an independent economy. It had large exports and <clears throat> in return it accepted gold or precious stones. Its dependency on imports was limited. So, export to kaafi ho raha tha, but imports limited the. The economy was largely rural, but was independent and Self-sustained. So economy thi to rural, but it was independent. It was self-sustained. Apne upar uh, full uh, self-reliant thi. We could depend on ourselves. We didn't have any dependence on the outer world. Okay. So write down kings provided patronage. To artist, 
culprits viewers mode of transportation was limited jo jahan tha wo wahi tha aisa nahi hai people were just traveling for from one place to another every region in itself was limited so every region had its own specialization right right now but during the british rule to british rule mein kya hua ye puri self reliance chali gayi so there was drain of wealth from india the entire wealth went away from india okay okay so most of the present day problems of indian economy can be linked to have its roots to the policies of british rule to jo bhi problems hum aaj bhi dekhte hain india mein usko actually uski kafi zyada roots jo hain wo usi policies mein hain ki britishers ne india mein aake kya kiya so therefore it is very important that we examine what were the features of indian economy during the period of independence and that is what i'm going to do in my next lecture we will talk about economy at the time of independence okay thank you